Let's see, little figurines galore here. Nothing too exciting though. Oh, are you Cloisonne? Hiding in the back here. Older Cloisonne too, I might add. There's two bowls that can poison you. Yummy. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, little cherub on marble towel holdery thing for $4 because you are half price. Oh, I love it. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Look what's just outside my window. Oh, it's a hummingbird. A little hummingbird. And now I feel guilty that I don't have the hummingbird feeders. Oh, oh, he's gone. It's not morning and it's not evening. I am shopping midday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, trying something new. I, you know, that's what you got to do in this business. You got to try new things. You got to mix it up. You got to change and see what works best. Test things. So, here I am. I have left the store and left it in the capable hands of my employees and I'm off and shopping at Goodwill, enjoying the sunshine. And uh, we're going to get in here and see what they have. I'm also going to pop into the Habitat for Humanity Restore next door and just take a look around and see what they have too. So it's going to be a twofer. Buckle up, enjoy the ride, and let's get shop done. All right. Well, you know what's first. You have to get us a lucky cart. And I like the light blue ones. I think they're a little bigger too. What's the thing? Yeah. If I can get one apart, there we go. We got one. The color this week is orange. And today is the first day that the new orange tag items have come out. So, I mean, not come out, have turned to 50%. That's what I meant. Okay, let's see. First thing I see is an elephant. He's missing his tusks, which is unfortunate. And he's got a big crack. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. Two big strikes. Two big strikes against you. A little marble cube. This looks like a cast iron teapot. No, it's not. It's ceramic. Ooh. Made to look like a cast iron teapot. And this is why it's important to put your hands on stuff. Now, the last time it was at this store, I scored big. Probably not going to end up doing that again this time. But I'm sure we will find some goodies. Let's look through the clear glass. There's some nice pieces, like a you know, little Fostoria American Bowl. Not super exciting, and I have some of that little marble candlestick. See, orange, four dollars. You know what? There's no damage on that. I think I'll grab that. Look how cute these duckies are. Oh, we got some damage right there at the foot. Oh, we got some damage at the tail. All right, two strikes for you, too. I guess two strikes and you're out today. This little vase has a nice look. It's $4.99. Isn't that sweet? I kind of like it. It's not, look, look at the paint. It's not done very well. It looks good from a distance, but close up, you're gonna see the quality issues. So we'll leave him. Not sure what that's for. Oh, I love me some See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys, but they're not very nicely done. Got some Delft. I don't generally pick up the Delft. It's not a big seller for me. I know, I saw some little shoes. You probably saw the little shoes. I kind of like that. A 
it's a Yankee candle. These are vintage, but they're not super desirable. But at just one dollar, it's worth picking up. Let's see what this. Ooh, it's very loose, but that could be tightened, I think. Onyx candle holder, fire candle holder, bookend. I know. I know, you guys were already getting ready to type and correct that, weren't you? <laughs> it's a bookend. All right, they have lots of dragon figurines. He is broken. He's a, more of a gargoyle kind of guy. Summit collection's not horrible. I'm not super excited about these. I do kind of like this gargoyle, but eight dollars not sure i like him at eight dollars there i like the friendly dragon he's a long arch 2003 he's 7.99 yeah i'm just not excited about the uh the prices on these he's 7.99 summit collection yeah not not really my cup of tea at that price Let's see, little figurines galore here. Nothing too exciting though. Oh, are you Cloisonne? Hiding in the back here. Older Cloisonne too, I might add. Got a little mark on the bottom here. What does that say? It says China. It's $2.99. You cannot go wrong at $2.99. Alright, we got some doggies, but they are very low quality i'm sorry doggies i'm sorry to have to tell you you are just not high quality goods 93 kind of a cool buffalo yeah let's see i do like this guy somebody has taken the price tag off so i'm not sure oh there it is 7.99 it's Seattle, USA, Inspirado. I was hoping it was something else. I was hoping it was Portuguese or Spanish, but it's not. All right, let's see what's over here in the wood section. We've got a big conch shell for 10 bucks. That's not a bad price, actually. Hmm, I think we'll pick her up for 10 bucks. Mom's laundry open 24 hours. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Mine's open once a week. Once a week, my kids have a chance to get their laundry to the laundry. <laughs> Ain't no 24 hours happening here. That's a really nice little jewelry box. Oh, goodness gracious. $49.99, Goodwill. Uh, it's an Ercolano. Made in Italy. I mean, it is nice. I definitely would have picked that up, but uh, we'll just leave you right there. And sadly, it's probably going to get damaged to where it's not going to be worth picking up. But this is a nice little jewelry box here. Let's pull that closer. See what we got. Ooh. I'll slide it up here. $5.99. Now that's more what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, there is a missing candle on there. But this is a nice jewelry box. Let's see. Oh, that would be dumb, Danny. Don't open the drawers that way. It's probably why somebody else has a handle missing. It does have made. Ooh, I can't quite read it and I can't turn it. It says something there. Made for, made for, I can't read it. I can't read it. I don't know how I feel about that with a, I wonder how hard it would be to replace a little thing. You know what? It's $5.99. I'm going to take a chance on it. All right. Let's see, what do we got under here? Is that another Lazy Susan? Ooh, it is. I like that Lazy Susan for $7.99. Why am I like such a fan of Lazy Susans lately? I don't know why, but I like them. 
So that one will go in the cart. And this bowl has a very interesting look. Not for food use, may poison food made in China. Nope, nope, not gonna do it. That is a strange material. It, I thought it was metal, but I think it's just a resin. Life's a beach, dive in. All right, oh, there's another one too. There's two bowls that can poison you. Yummy. <laughs> All right. Look over in the little seasonal section. See if there's anything exciting. What? UNLV Rebel. I think they got rid of the Rebel mascot. Sunrise Children's Hospital branded. What are you, little guy? I don't know who makes you. You're $5.99. Kind of cute. I don't know if you had a lid, though. I don't know if you had a top. I suspect you did. Little Ray Dunn, Happy Easter. He just looks like he's up to no good. And behind here, we have, looks like some nativity animals. Now, animals are my favorite nativity creatures. And these are a cow, a donkey, a camel and a sheep and it's half price so five bucks for those I will take you I see a little wood nativity back here it's also orange tag so it'd be 250 you know what ah oh, the star is broken darn it I wonder if that could be I don't know what would you do I all of these pieces are good. Mmm, $2.50. I'm gonna rescue it. I'm gonna do it. On the end is a really, really sweet birdhouse. It's 10 bucks. It's a real estate office birdhouse and it looks like it came from Knott's Berry Farms. It was probably super expensive. I'm grabbing it. Look at these cute little items I just found on the top shelf at half price. They're Cottontail Lane, they're Easter trees, and you know, this is perfect for my little project. There's not just one, there is two. Those are coming with me. All right, let's see if the metals have anything exciting today. Oh, hello, hello, little cherub on marble towel holdery thing for $4 because you are half price. Oh, I love it. All right, these are interesting. They would have had glass dishes, glass like serving pieces. Kind of cool, kind of cool. What is that? What is your purpose in life? You are broken on the bottom, but why would you have an Eiffel Tower with a basket underneath? Anybody know what that little mystery is all about? A gong? It's, it's a gong and it has its gong thingy right here. Like you could actually... <laughs> That's not very gong-like. <laughs> okay, you stay right there. You're not a very substantial gong. Goodness. Ooh, look at those. <gasps> oh, I like those a lot. Don't be like a million dollars. 20 bucks. See? Okay. I could have got them at Hobby Lobby for 20 bucks because everything at Hobby Lobby goes 50% off. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to take a chance. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Those are enticing enough. I might come back tomorrow when it's senior day because I really like those. But I don't, I don't want to pay 20 bucks a piece. I'm just kind of, kind of cheap that way. 
my rooster trivet. I'm getting down here to, I don't know why I've been a little bit enamored by silver plate lately, because I don't generally like dealing with silver plate for some reason. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is, my aversion to silver plate. Metals in general. I'm not, I'm just not a metals girl. I'm more of a wood, I'm a wood girl. I'm also a glass girl, very much a glass girl. That is a party light piece. I used to pick those up and I just, I'm not super motivated now. That's a nice little piece of EAPG. Do you see the yellow tint to the glass? This is definitely an older piece for $1.50. Like, again, this could go with my little project too. I could put a cute little um, assemblage on there. Yeah, buck fifty. We're grabbing that. Okay, let's see. What are you? You're a skull mug. Clear dishes. A pretty little perfume bottle here. Let's look at you a little closer. Not super high quality. It is a princess house. It just doesn't doesn't tickle my fancy. There is a, oh, see, that's not right. I don't like when they do that. They have this orange tag. Look it, you can see the orange tag under there. And then they just put a gray tag over it and repriced it at $5.99 because they didn't want to sell it for half price. And I don't want to pay $6 for it. I would have paid three, definitely would have paid three. Oh, well, let's see. What else we got in here? That's an interesting, it's a little flashed on color piece for $7.99. Little shell soap dish. It's got an array of pricing going on with it a little bottle back here with a leather strap on it. I like the bottle more than I like, I almost like, I almost like want to take the leather stuff off, but then the bottle doesn't have a top. All right, we'll leave that one. We will leave that one. Keep moving. Those are cute little milk glass bud vases. Lemons. Botera del Ceramista, made in Italy. Made in Italy is right there as well. There's no price on it. But you know what? Let's see how much that one will be. This also is a stained or flashed piece of glass. It's actually in really good condition. I gotta say, I don't see any wear to it at all but they want ten dollars and it's just not worth much more than that sadly bright little orange trivet pure one japan orange trivet for three dollars again i'm looking at this going oh i could build something on top of this too that would be super cute either way i'm gonna grab it Cherry pie is really cool, but very large, as is this piece. No mark. We will leave that one. Move over here. See what we got on this shelf. Nice Miami shell thing, but it's very damaged. And I don't see much else. All right, let's see if there's anything in the plastic. Out of place, perhaps. Or vintage. Or cool, or Disney, or something. Like M&M's. M&M cups for $5.99. We have an M&M world here, so stuff does end up here from M&M world, but that doesn't excite me. And we got more 
jars and clear glass items here. Rachel wants to do a project in the kitchen that I think we're going to do one day soon, inspired by my daughter Jordan. Do you see what I see? Do you see it right there in front of my eyes? Hello, beautiful. Come see me. Oh, look at you. Are you not priced? Why are you not priced? All right, we're going to take this one up to the register. Oh, no, it is priced. $9.99. I'm down with $9.99 on that. I love when doggies are shopping. I don't know that they love it so much, but I always enjoy seeing doggies. Little pretzel pattern. All right. I don't see anything else there, but then, oh, and it's chipped. That is heartbreaking. Are you double-sided at least so that, no, why can't the parrot be on this side? Because then that chip wouldn't show if you displayed it. But no, the chip's on this side. And then my brain goes, could I make a flower arrangement and have something kind of dripping over the edge so you wouldn't see that chip? because it's only five bucks and it's breaking my heart to leave this behind because it's a birdie. Oh, what to do? Yes, yes, I'm gonna rescue it. I didn't even look to see what the mark was on the bottom, but it's brished, brished? Is that what you see? Made in England, handwork. It's old, it's an old baby and we're gonna save it. Well, it looks like it's a day of rescuing. Nice canister. Those are nice canisters too. Who makes you? Lillian Vernon. Who to thunk? They have them priced $7.99, $9.99, $12.99, $14.99. And $14 so that makes the set a little on the pricey side. Here is a Temptations. No. Yes. Why is it weird? Like the red is like faded. It's not crisp and vibrant like I would expect it to be, so that concerns me of what is going on there. And we will leave it. Look at this rooster dish. Now, why are they asking $20 for this rooster dish? Oh, because it's Lennox. Wait, that says 20 red. So they must have repriced it at $9.99 purple because that tag definitely belongs there and there's no red tag. So I think we'll take this one for $9.99. Those are cute, cute little bowls that say peace. Who makes you? It doesn't say, it just says made in China. Those are awful sweet. All right, I'll leave them. My cart's getting full. We've got an Allen and Roth something or other here. Oh, it's a towel holder. <laughs> Pretty tile with poppies. I like you. Product designed by New View Gifts and Accessories. $2.99. Love the colors. Grabbing it. What are you? A white box. What is in the white box? We must see what is in the white box. Oh, it's a light bulb. There's a light bulb in the white box. And there's multiples of them. Nothing, nothing. Okay, and a bunch, of, is that a herd? Do you call a bunch of unicorns a herd? What is the proper term? Some things just make me feel silly, but I have one. I have one of these and I actually really love it. It's mesmerizing as it twists in the wind. It's plastic, so if it falls, it's not gonna break. And I just found, again, is it a herd? What do you call it? A bunch? I'm taking them all. Got a Ray Dunn mug for $2, that's not bad. Got some little giraffes, Ash Dean. $2.99 on that. I kind of love the giraffes. 
think I'm going to grab that one. Oh, look what she just put on the shelf. Who are you? Your cat Zilla, Candace Ruder, and you're $1.99 each. Yep, you're going in the cart. All right, well, let's see what else. Look at all these self care mugs. We've been talking about that a lot on my Monday Lives. Kind of some mental health issues and self care, the brunch series. I am enough. Gratitude, Affirmations, Future Biography. Must have been given out at an event. And those are all the extras. We've got coasters. Little marbly coasters, but they're not marble. They're kind of like that thirsty stone. Only five, though. I'll leave those. Who makes you cute little stacking mugs? Your World Market. World Market is not a cheap brand, but I see a chipped one on there. I feel like I'm getting better about spotting those chips before I bring it home. Mr. Rogers sweater changing mug? What? No way. $5.99. Oh, is he worth $5.99? I feel, I feel like he kind of is. <laughs> I'm going to get the Mr. Rogers mug. Ooh, those are cute. Nerves like a case of beer. There is nothing for a case of nerves like a case of beer, okay? This one says, let no man thirst for lack of real ale. And this one says, radioactive here's to today for tomorrow we may be radioactive <laughs> these are half price they're only a buck 50 each i don't know what makes them but those are adorable pilsner glasses i'm gonna grab them do you see what's happening they are bringing out a new cart of goodies and i am all about it look at that beautiful girl let's see 9.99 oh she's broken Broken, broken. Bougie looking piggy bank. Hmm. Oh, nothing else exciting. All right. We had to peek though. Let's see. If there's any glasses over here. I wish there was one more of those Pilsner glasses. That's for sure, but I don't see any. I do see these little frosted guys. Who makes you? Brandy Presidente. Mezcla Contigo. <laughs> okay, that. All right, let's look in the bowls and the plates and such. Who are you? 101 Dalmatians? <gasps> You're five dollars each. Cruella is spotted. Oh, it's like the whole car. Oh, look at that. The mansion awaits. Puppies on the loose. Over the wall. I just, I just don't feel like I could pay five bucks a piece for these. So they have to be sold in a set. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm going to leave those. Oh, wow. Look at all the King's Crown. Ruby Flash. Now this has a little bit of wear on it. That's not King's Crown. This is King's Crown. And there's King's Crown plates there. And then we got some corn up here. Oh, I do like the little corn dishes. Who makes you? Your Mount Clemens pottery from the good earth. Six dollars for five little corn bowls. I really like those. One, I don't know if that's a chip or if that's just something under the tape. But let me get up here and get the uh, salt and peppers. $3.99 with the little dish that goes with them. Okay, all right. 
And then there's, what are you? You are a corn bowl and you're Fiji. Oh, you're very chipped up. I'm sorry, you're very chipped up. We gotta leave you. And then we've got a tureen that is $7.99. I kind of love the tureen for $7.99 too. All right, I have a very precarious cart going here, but I've been doing this a lot of years. It's what I do. So far, so good. Look at a single little uh, stained glass Pepsi Cola glass that has been through the dishwasher, so it's pretty faded, unfortunately. If that was in really good condition, I'd snag it and put it down at the booth. Somebody would pick that up. But it's just a little bit too worn. Has an interesting look. Oh, I see strawberries. Oh, these are snack plates and there would have been a cup that went with that. I really like those strawberries, so darn it. I like them. All right, quick jaunt through the small appliances. Nothing looks to be here that doesn't belong here, so we'll keep moving. Let's see, pots and pans. Pots and pans, pots and pans. Oh, goodness. No, nope, don't see anything in the pots and pans or, oh wait, Cake Boss scoop. What could I use that for? Do I need a kitchen scoop for $3? I don't know what I'd use a kitchen scoop for because we don't use kitchen scoops. All right, now we're in their crafty section. Those are cute. Butterflies, stamps. I got these stencil paints. I don't know anything about stencil paints. I do not see anything super exciting here. They want $7.99 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for 10, 10 envelopes. That's not a great price. It's not a great price. Not as a reseller, it's not a great price, you know, to use because you go through a lot and you want to buy that stuff in bulk. <gasps> Expo markers. I wonder how old these are and if they're dried out. How do you tell? Do they have a date on them somewhere? $5.99. Hmm. That would be a lot to pay if they end up being all dried up. And I don't know. Do they dry up? I don't know. What are you? White inkjet printable. Oh, they're for CDs, for making CDs. Peep treat bags. Should get those for Jordan to have for her next Easter party, but that's a long time to put them away. Let's see. Ledger book. Always looking for office supplies that we might need at the store. Oh, I do like the blue clipboard. I like the blue clipboard. Okay, leave it, Danny. Dr. Seuss activity book? Hmm, leave it, Danny, leave it. All right, let's keep going. I see something. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Now, if you know anything about art supplies, you know that $10 is not an unreasonable price for all of this beautiful watercolor. Uh, it's for acrylic, watercolor, and pen and pencil. That is coming home for one little artist daughter. She did a special surprise for people in my what not sale yesterday. Uh, we had a little, you know, buy Rachel a paintbrush thing. We call them ways to beat the shipping costs. And uh, everybody who purchased one also got a little art doodle from Jordan. From Jordan. From Rachel. Yes, Jordan was there too. But uh, yeah, Rachel did a little piece of art for everybody. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom goodies. British Royal Aftershave and McGregor. Don't see anything 
Super exciting. What's unicorn hair? What? Tint. What do you do with that? I don't know. Yeah, we got some party supplies over here. But then you never know what else is going to be mixed in. So you got to look. This is Disney. Oh, little gift box. What is this? Macrame knotting board cover. Okay, all right. Some little boxes. Bunnies. More bunnies. Hmm. Car doodads. And pet supplies. Puppy yoga. Balance the yoga puppy. <laughs> Is that a thing? I feel like I want to get that for Jordan as a as a gag gift. <laughs> I think I think I might. It's uh it's it's orange. So it's only it's only two bucks. I'm getting that for Jordan. Oh, we got more mishmash here. Oh, stationary. Adjustable keyboard tray. I'll tell you, it's, it's always a treasure hunt. You just never know what you're going to find in a Goodwill. And that is what makes it fun. Wowza, it's like the first time I've come here and there is like no pillows. There's no pillows. Where's all the pillows? Nobody's donating pillows. Hmm. Let's see what we got in the tablecloth section. Towels. Bed skirts. Seems like there's always an abundance of bed skirts. I mean, because lots of them have to match like the bedding that they go with. I think people just get rid of the bed skirt because they don't use the bed skirt. Am I right? Am I right? Kids linens. Nope. Oh, throws and blankets. That is a very, very pretty green. Like, that is a really pretty green. I do like that. I still have a blanket on my couch, and I use it just about every night. Color me weird. I should add, I am in Vegas, where it's like 90 to 100 degrees most of the year. And uh, even then, I think it's because I like to keep the AC on and I like that contrast of just being able to cover up while cooling the house down. There's a little Sonic. It's $2.99. I don't know that... Is Sonic worth $2.99? I feel like he's not. Sorry, Sonic. And I'm not really into... Because <laughs> I'm not really into the plush today, but uh, we have a Chinese chicken. <laughs> Oh, you know who loves chickens. And I think she could sew this up. She could fix that chicken. And then he can live with her other fabric chicken that I just bought her. This little bunny right here is the farmhouse. Rachel Ashwell, seasonal decor. He's orange tag, so he's only three bucks. And he's like a doorstop. And he's kind of fabulous. And I am going to grab him too. Something tells me checkout is going to take a while today. I think I'll be in trouble if I find a big lamp. <laughs> but I was drawn to these. I like these little pendant lamps that are just kind of fun. They're only $4 each. I think I need those. We will give a quick scout through the art. This owl did catch my attention, of course. He, okay, is he $2.99 or is he $5.99? He has an original piece. Looks like a, you know, a, a hobby painter. He's got kind of a big old something going on right there. Otherwise, I think I'd pick him up. Being a hobby painter does not bother me at all if, if it's done well. They could be the fabulous listed artist of tomorrow. You just never know. They all start somewhere. I kind of like that Santa too, but 
I'm sure somebody will somebody will grab that. Let's see what we got. We got a Lord's Supper. Sometimes these can be worth some money. This is only three dollars. I'm looking for the printer information. It's probably below the frame, but I also see it's kind of rumpled under there and it doesn't look like one of the really old ones. It's the really old ones that uh, can bring some really good money. So you want to be on the lookout for those. I do like small little accent pieces of art. People can always find a place to put a nice small little painting, but that one isn't really super exciting me. Easter blessings. I don't think we need any Easter blessings right now. Easter has passed. We have to wait a whole nother year for Easter blessing. And let's see if we got anything else. I'm looking at the edges of the frames. It's kind of how I judge how I'm going to dig any deeper. If something just looks vintage, cool, cute, little color pops out that piques my interest. And I don't see anything in this batch today. That's a really pretty print. The sun. I like, I want to be there right now. I want to be standing right there right now in that beautiful fall. No, I don't want it to be fall. But I like that little, I like the color of the trees. You know what I'm saying. Well, it looks like purses and pillows are kind of hiding in the same spot because there is not a whole lot of purses here today at all. I am not doing a purse sale this week. I'm doing a jewelry sale this week. I'm not sure when the next purse sale will be. I have to get enough purses to do another sale is what I have to do. All right. We will uh, carry on. All right, let's pop over here to Habitat for Humanity and see if there's anything we need. Aren't these lights cool? I like these. Two hundred dollars. Ooh. Pillows. I'm going in here. Let's see, is there any furniture on sale? <laughs> Looks like they've got some of those nuddle dishes here too. I'm looking for a new like break table at the store that doesn't take up so much room. That's only, oh, it's 75. I thought it said 25. Something like that. Something like that. Ooh, that's a rolling table. I like a rolling table. Lots of chairs. Don't need chairs. Don't need art. Don't need sofas. I'm kind of looking for display pieces and I don't, I don't see anything today. I don't like super dark display pieces because things kind of disappear in them. I like white and light wood. So, nothing here. We'll go peek on these shelves. These are kind of pretty. La Dolce Vita Leaf Collection, but it's not priced. Are you priced? You're not priced either. Hmm, not priced. Is anything priced? Not really. It's kind of a strange little store, I must say. The horse head. $25. Okay. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Oh, and yes. Here we go. There's more and more and more of this. If you watch my last few videos, you know this stuff is everywhere in Vegas right now. Somebody got a little bit too much supply. 
and now it is all at the discount stores. Oh, $300 for these little heater things. I would love to have those on my patio, but I have no way to get that home. I'd have to find somebody to, I would, I would definitely buy those to put on my patio if I had a way to get them home. Oh, look at these chairs. Oh, these are fun. I like these. Let's see if they've got anything here that would be a fun little thing to pick up. Not seeing anything. We've got locks. That is heavy duty inner tube. Don't need that. Tools. And all kinds of little stuff, but nothing that we need. Well, I think I'm going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming right up. Nothing there that we needed so I'm gonna head back to the store and offload all the stuff that I just bought and uh, get it all processed in oh look I'm going all sun glassy now all right you go be profitable and make it fun we'll see you on the next one